Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Ansel Larmshank, coming back at you again. I want to show my appreciation for all the support on the video we did last week going over kind of my approach on the market and how I flip cards, how I make subs. The support there has been incredible. I never expected it to blow up like it did, but thank you, each and every one of you. Uh, anybody who's liked, subscribed, commented, if you found anything good from that video, Thank you so much and i appreciate all the support today building off of that last video we're going to be talking about the top five things that i'm doing right now and that you should be doing as a no money spent player to help build up your squad you can take a look at my squad right now we're up to 90 overall it's not the greatest squad on the planet by any means or certainly better but for a no money spent squad uh here on in 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 late march we're still in the early stages of the game it's a really, really, really good squad. You can take a look at my at my uh, starting lineup there. We have a 99 already on the team. You can look at the bench. We almost have all diamonds, just have the one gold. You can even take a look at the rotation, have the 99 Kluber up there in the rotation and all diamonds in the bullpen, except for the one John Franco, because I don't have any other lefties, but we're working on that soon. But not only are we at the 90 overall, sitting on 228k stubs and that's not meant to be you know a weird flex but okay but just to show that um you know if, if you follow some of the steps that we're going to talk about in this video if you if you if you follow the processes here this game rewards you if you play the game especially in mlb 20 this year with with some of the stuff that's in this game if you play the game it will reward you in stubs players xp levels cards everything you play the game put your effort into it you can have a in-game god squad guaranteed so the first tip and the first piece of advice i'm giving in this video is to just take what the game gives you it sounds really simple but you'd be surprised at how many people don't take fully advantage of all the aspects of the game that are going to allow you to get stubs xp better cards there's a lot of things in this game Maybe you know about them, maybe you don't, that are going to help improve your team. So let's take a look. We're going to first go over to moments. Uh, and as we're going through these moments, there's a couple here. We have these welcome moments. I haven't even done those, but hey, 500 XP, 2100 subs, an extra little bit once you complete. That's worth it. Everything counts. But there's two I want to point out specifically. One, team affinity. As you can see, if you can complete every team affinity moment, in this set, in stage one, you get an extra bonus 5,000 stubs and 15,000 XP. In total, for doing these team fitting moments, 30 moments, and you can see they're not long. Three hits, an extra base hits, five total bases, pitch five innings, strike out 10 batters, on, and they're all on veteran, right? They're not too hard. You can see it'll give you a total of 8,375 stubs and 27,000 XP those are significant numbers those are especially if you're no money spent and you're really pinching pennies to put together a squad 8300 stubs and 27,000 xp is huge it's huge same with creative player if you go through here and you complete each creative player positional moments that's going to give you another 11,700 stubs and 44,000 XP. You know, this is probably, you, you can probably knock all this out in a day. And in doing so, you're going to get about 20K stubs and 60,000 XP. That is significant progress, both in terms of getting stubs and helping out that bankroll a little bit, whether it's to flip, whether it's to finish collections, whether it's to uh, buy your favorite player who's a diamond and you want to pick them up and add them to the squad or if it's to help push you along that xp reward path finish out you know get to the next level milestone and maybe you're closing on a level eight or on level 80 maybe you're closing in on silver level one thinking about maybe picking up your uh your xp reward path boss it's great for doing that and it's really gonna propel your momentum in this game getting some extra xp and subs it'll go a long way in addition to that, you want to take the free diamonds the game gives you. There's free diamonds in this game. This game's going to give you free diamonds, right? A couple right now, you can go to the programs. You want to go to your player programs. If you haven't finished carry wood, right? You get the free 85 overall relief pitcher. Same with Curtis Granderson. 
free 85 overall outfielder right he can play he can play all the way through the outfield they're both great players they both have a spot on your squad especially if you're no money spent Harry Woods still on my squad right now uh Granderson may I may put him back on the bench as a bench back because you know he he has pretty decent splits against lefties and righties right has a nice swing hits the ball pretty well you get these cards for free we're talking 30 45 minutes of your time and you're picking up a diamond for free add to your squad plus you're getting some stubs some extra packs along the way even though you're probably going to get some duplicates in these team packs you can exchange them um you can use them for team affinities and the ones you don't get duplicates of they're going to help you complete those collections a couple silvers a couple bronzes some of those teams that could be several thousand stubs right and then in addition in addition to these player programs you have the evolution player programs do we get the level 10 bronze which everyone watching this if you're not level 10 bronze go out complete some of those team affinity create a player moments that'll get you to level 10 bronze before you know it and you're going to get another free diamond whether it's you go with the eckersley the one that's the one i'm working on right now um or you go with the pudge the carlos gonzalez or eddie matthews they're all four really good cards and you're gonna you're gonna get one of those to add to your team as a 90 plus overall diamond for free and the moments once you get to level 10 the moments are not too bad again another 30 45 minutes we're talking an hour and a half if you're just starting from nothing right now hour half of your time you'll have three diamonds on your team ready to go plus stubs plus xp plus maybe a couple packs there's a ton of free packs in this game take advantage of them take advantage of them and then finally in terms of just what the game's giving you go and complete conquest well it's it's a little tedious i know i get it i get it it's tedious the map's big you can see i just i completed it the other day it only took me 26 turns it's not that hard you know and not to mention as you're going through it you're going to get your post game rewards that are you know who knows what you get in post game reward you have that you get 30 of them here you never know what you're gonna get right not to mention hen rewards there's some silver player packs some show packs and good golly miss molly there's xp out there from completing all the missions and picking out divisionals and all that you're gonna get xp you're gonna get three player cards the frank thomas gold's pretty well the cy young uh silver is okay um and then of course you get the willie mays uh the diamond 87 overall willie mays and he's a good card if you know money spent he's another great outfielder you can add to your team plus you're gonna get packs in total you're gonna get about 30 or so packs and are you gonna get anything from those packs maybe not are you maybe gonna pull mike trout from those packs you never know but that's the fun of no money spent you never know what you're gonna get and if the game's gonna give you free packs they're gonna come up with something and again like we were talking about in the last video you're gonna take all that you're gonna sell it and you're gonna have more stubs than you ever even realized now the next thing point number two what you're gonna want to be working on what you're gonna want to be doing is the first inning program is inning programs were introduced last year uh, I think they're some of the greatest methods of getting cards to players and for no money spent players, especially in Diamond Dynasty history, much, you know, maybe even all of Ultimate Team modes across all sports. They're incredible. They're so awesome. Go through, complete your programs. Just doing some quick math here. If you were to get to a thousand stars, which is a lot, a thousand stars is a ton. I've never gotten a thousand stars in a program. Probably won't for the first inning program. Most people won't. But again, if you have a ton of time to play um and, and you can work your way up to a thousand stars and of course even if you don't get to a thousand stars there's a ton of good rewards but between the packs the xp and the stubs that you get forget if you were to get all the way to a thousand stars not including the potential value you could get from your three inning bosses you have about a hundred and seventy two thousand stubs worth of value between these packs you can see we got prospect packs we got 2,500 stubs. Uh, we have another 2,000 stubs plus a audio unlockable, which is worth 1,000 for a quick sell. 2,000 subs, five packs, 2,000 subs. And then of course, your inning bosses. If you sell those right now, let's see. I think they're going for about 30K right now. Yeah, 30K, 26. If you're if you're doing it, if you're creating a buy order, 26K, right? But if you're selling those, hey, that's another 30K. That helps you complete uh you know a collection 
you can turn that into two live series diamonds for completing the collection right and then not to mention again we have more packs we have more subs all that adds up all that adds up very 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 quickly and again you never know what you're gonna get out of your packs um and and it could be a little intimidating trying to get you know oh well over 300 stars um but there's a lot here to get you stars obviously you have your dailies right you have your dailies you have your showdown if you can complete that showdown that'll give you 70 right you have these missions again with that granderson with the carry wood those are free cards you're getting put them into your lineup you can get another 20 program stars from completing their missions right plus another 40 for collecting them 75 for getting all six of those uh deluxe edition diamonds which are about 10k a piece and they're good budget budget ballers for the squad another 20 if you can go through and complete the team affinity just 10 of them the 25 team affinity that's another 20 program stars and then another 30 of course if you complete conquest there's a lot of stars out there there's a lot of stars out there if you really focus in right if you really focus in on some of these key things to work on right put your focus on completing this program you're gonna burn through it and you're gonna pick up stuff it's a headliners pack it's uh you know you got the henchman you got the ball and is a habit pack who knows what's waiting in some of these packs for you could be really really good stuff but at minimum at minimum you're getting something it's going to be a lot of great value for you and then you're going to get your way up to 300 you're going to collect the boss right whether it's oswald hilton or duke snyder you're going to be able to slide them into your lineup they're going to be one of if not the best player on your team and you've gotten them all for free you've, you're going to get them 100 percent for free just got to get the 300 stars right you get the boss plus all the extra goodies along the way and after 300 stars it's an incredible value you got to knock out your inning programs. We got 14 days left on this thing. About two weeks left to get through the first inning program. Knock it out as much as you can and get yourself ready for inning program number two. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about, it's been one of the best additions to this year's game, in my opinion, is the team affinity. For a couple of years, the team affinity has been okay, but they've been, they haven't been incredible. This year's team affinity and just stage one has been awesome and there are some great cards in here we have 30 teams 30 team affinities each one of them has a gold prospect card and a diamond face of the franchise card so if you were to go through and knock out all these you're getting 30 gold players 30 diamond players plus subs packs xp you name it personally for me i've completed the angels and picked up otani i've completed the rangers and picked up joey gallo i completed the yankees and picked up Glaber Torres, and I've completed the White Sox and picked up Yoan Moncada. And all four of those cards are in my starting lineup right now. And I think they're gonna stay in my starting lineup for quite a bit. If you're going through the team affinities, let's look at the Rangers here. One of the most popular ones with Gallo. Uh, you're gonna get the, the non-sellable packs. So if you haven't collected any Rangers, boom, you're gonna get four right there. Um, Hopefully you get four, you don't get any duplicates, but you're gonna get four right there that you can collect and that's gonna save you some stubs, right? You're gonna get 2000 stubs um, at, at that at that milestone. Then you're gonna pick up Leody Tavares. Great card, by the way. Switch hitting, speed, defense. He's a great card, right? He's usable, 100%. And then you're gonna pick up these three team affinity packs, which are essentially just show packs. They're essentially just show packs. Um, so you can do some quick math right there. If you were to do every team, just up to 50, just up to 50 to get their face of the franchise, right? You're going to get 60,000 stubs. You're going to get 30 gold prospect cards. You're going to get 30 diamonds and you're going to get 90 show packs. You're getting a lot from doing this. Not to mention if you get then up to the 4,000 mark, right? That's another 120k subs across every team right and then six packs at the 70 mark that's another 180 packs but we're talking 270 packs potentially from the team affinity now this team affinity is a lot of it's a lot right it's a lot of work to get to 70 on everybody but if you can piecemeal and pick out some to work on whether it be through showdown whether it be through march to october whether it be filling your team with, with uh, you know, while you're doing Conquest, you fill your team with a bunch of Texas Rangers players and you come over here 
we're looking at our missions and you're knocking out these innings missions with rangers players 250 sounds like a lot of innings when you have nine people when your full field is rangers players it goes pretty quickly you gotta knock it out pretty quick do that while you're working on conquest you know you're killing two birds with one stone there and you're picking up subs players packs along the way and again as always who knows what's hiding in there who knows what's hiding in there could be mike trout you never know you never know at minimum right at minimum these have four four players per you're getting 24 players that you can sell on the market make some stubs from maybe you get some golds maybe you get some silvers right even if you just get bronzes and commons guess what they sell it's more than what you had and it helps you out a ton go through finish your team affinities i recommend finding a couple that you like right whether it be your favorite team your favorite player um a hole in your lineup that you have find a couple that you like target those um maybe give it a couple run show runs at showdown maybe start in march to october and grind through that they're not too hard if you do it on you know you can do a dynamic difficulty all-star uh and get enough to get the face of the franchise card and it'll take you you know a little bit less than 10 hours or so it's not too bad of a grind or put a bunch of these cards you're gonna line up work through conquest you're gonna be building up innings really really quickly now tip number four is gonna be play your events now my 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 goal with this video is to have all of these tips be all encompassing regardless of skill level so it, you know the tips aren't going to be go make world series go go 12 and 0 in br right because that's not going to happen for everybody but what everybody can do is play events they're free to enter your record doesn't matter doesn't matter how much you lose you know it's not going to affect your record that people see online helps you try out new players right so far with this one the max team overall of 85 helps lower that skill gap or that or that uh team differential gap just a little bit right so you're not constantly going against someone who has a god squad squad already full of 99s and it's just dominating you there right it's gonna balance out the playing field just a little bit personally this is my favorite way right now to just grind out the game some if i'm wanting to work either on my own game right and improve myself whether i'm trying to new pci or a new camera angle or a new approach to pitching i'm hopping events to do that or i'm trying out a new player maybe i just got a new face of the franchise card i want to throw him in the lineup a little bit how he does see how he fits in boom i'm gonna go to events because if i lose guess what it doesn't matter and then of course if you are decent at the game and you can see we have the streak rewards there if you can get to 12 you get the diamonds 85 to 9 89 even at nine you're getting a gold or at six you're getting a silver and those those are stubs that add up but what we're really looking at is these cumulative rewards right these add up quickly as you can see we have one show pack another three show packs silver player pack gold player pack and then look at the xp a thousand xp there three thousand xp and a thousand stubs there another 5k xp 7500 xp a five pack bundle and here's a funny story about this five pack bundle this one specifically right here i got it on stream yesterday and i pulled arenado and a pair of griffey cleats out of it was I extremely lucky? Yes, absolutely. Is one of you watching this right now going to be extremely lucky in your five bundle that you get at 30 wins in the event? Absolutely. One of you out there watching right now is going to get to 30 wins in the event. Pull these five. You're going to get Mike Trout. I guarantee it. It's going to happen. Somebody. Somebody's got to be lucky. Why not you? Why not you? But even if you don't, even if you don't, that's giving you inventory to work with that you can sell on the market, build up your stub count right and then we get to the player rewards so this this felix hernandez if you're a no money spent guy maybe you still have some goals or silver in your rotation hey throw felix in that rotation he's not a bad card he has got really good speed differentials he has a good pick pitch selection he's got okay control decent velocity right or if that's not really your vibe you don't really need felix you already got you know your rotation filled out hey you can come over here you can make 16k for selling them right 16k not a ton adds up pretty quickly that 16k is pretty significant you know that's the price of a low tier diamond to help you fill out another live series collection right and as we keep going we got ball on as a habit pack another five classic stadium that's a couple thousand subs guaranteed and you have brooks robinson again if you're no money spent guy right this is gonna help out your team 
he can slot in at third base, right? Maybe you didn't go Eddie Matthews with your evolution pack. Third base is a hole for you right now, right? You don't want to grind out a team affinity. Well, hey, Brooks Robinson can fill in that hole for you pretty nicely. Has great fielding. Going to make great plays out there. Again, if you don't fit in your lineup, hey, you can come over here. You can sell for 16K. You'll make 16K on them. And boom, you know, between the two, you've made 32K. Right? That's a pretty significant amount. And then, of course, you keep going. We have 10 packs, the prospect pack, and 20 packs. These at 80, 90, and 100 wins, that's some significant rewards. 30 packs and a prospect pack. That, that is significant rewards. Those are going to have a substantial impact on the amount of stubs you have. Right? A substantial impact on the amount of stubs you have and what you can do. Right? Maybe there's a good card in here. Maybe not. Uh, but you're, you're you're gonna get at least something of value, especially in this prospect pack. You're gonna pull somebody, right? It doesn't matter which one of these you pull. So you get, you know, you, even if you get the low tier, right? Look at Mitch Keller. Get the low tier, 15k. Much less if you come over here and you get Luis Robert at the high tier. You're looking 67k. Right? This Forrest Whitley, pretty nasty, by the way. 28k. There's a lot of stubs there. There's a lot of stubs there. Guaranteed 15. You get lucky, you get Robert, you get 60. Think about how much that would change your team right now, which you would do with 60K. It'd make a substantial impact, right? Now, another thing to note, another thing to note is that these cumulative awards do not end at the end of the current events. You can see show goes on in April 2nd. The show goes on part two starts at that point or later that afternoon i'm not sure what the exact timing but these cumulative rewards will stay right they're not going to reset so you have two events at minimum to get up to that 100 wins don't think you have until april 2nd to do so you have some more time i like to usually warm up with some events try to get four to five wins a day and i should reach that 100 win plateau before the end of the next event but definitely look at events you don't have to be good, right? You don't have to be World Series caliber. It's not BR and going 12 and all. You just have to come on. They're free to enter. You can enter as many times as you like. Grind out a couple wins per entry, right? That'll add up. Do an entry per day. You'll be surprised at how quickly you move along the event rewards and uh, the significant rewards you're going to get as you win those games. And the final tip. Tip number five is going to be focus on your XP reward path, right? Now, the beauty of this one is that while you're doing all the four other things that we've talked about, you're going to be getting XP. You're going to be filling up that XP. You're going to be getting levels, but you want to focus on your XP reward path because the players and stubs, everything in here is great rewards. Again, we have this evolution that's going to give you a 90 plus diamond. That's level 10. Right, you have the gear up. That's a gold. Some gold equipment goes for thirty k or three three thousand. <laughs> Not quite thirty k, but three thousand. We got show packs. We have stubs. Right, we have the classics player. That's giving you a diamond to fill in your team. This Mondesi, he's a glitch. Right, Morton, I've been enjoying him so far, and Gary Sanchez has been pretty good as well from where I've seen. Now we're getting a gold live series player. Right, then we're getting the um the deluxe edition pack. And then of course we have our high diamond packs and these are in-game cards to a degree here we got mccovey henderson fingers hal newhauser and corey kluber these are cards you're going to be seeing all year long same once you get to silver one you know you have the barry lock and the reggie jackson the sandberg the mini minoso and buster posey again cards you're going to be seeing all year long 99 overalls incredible cards really really solid cards you want to be grinding out your xp reward path and picking up these rewards and as you do as you pick up some of these cards and legends and flashbacks be sure to come over here to your collections right you're going to want to look at legends and flashbacks and you're going to want to look through these as we can see when i picked up my kluber i was able to put that one in there collect it pick up a ball and it is a habit pack 100 subs 1500 xp i think i actually have the signature one i can do the signature one right now right we'll collect sandberg boom bond is a habit pack who knows what's gonna be in here let's actually let's find out let's find out what's in this bond is a habit pack that we just got for free just for getting to silver level one and collecting that sandberg let's see if we have anything good in here bronze got a silver there and a gold lake snell boom 
was, you know, hey, that's a couple thousand subs that we didn't have before just from going through our XP reward path, collecting some cards that aren't sellable. So you might as well go through and collect them. And you can do that for all tiers and types of cards as well. But definitely focus on that XP reward path. The rewards there are incredible. That does it for us today. Those are my top five tips of kind of what I'm doing in the game right now to help build up my no money spent team, my no money spent squad. Be sure to comment down below. What is your no money spent squad looking like right now? I'm interested to see where are y'all at? I'm sure there's some people that have already completed the live series collection. No money spent. If you have post down there and let's flex that. Absolutely. But what squad are you rocking with right now? What's your no money spent? Who are some of your budget bees? If you enjoyed this video as well, be sure to like and subscribe. The support has been incredible so far this past week. We're going to keep busting out content. We're going to keep going. It's going to be great. And as a reminder, we do stream on Twitch Sundays through Wednesday, starting around 7 p.m. Central Time. Link will be in the description below. And you can see my grind, my no money spent grind, and me building up my team, struggling at events, blowing 11 and 0 event runs in real time, all live on Twitch. Link down below in the description. Until next time, I'll catch y'all later.